Mr. Speaker, I am that woman, and I am back to talk about the Democratic double standards once again. Democrats love to jump on the Republican outrage train, but when we see the blatant anti-Semitism from one of their own, all you see are timid, fake, pandering, and watered-down responses. For those of you who struggle to keep up with the latest anti-Semitic rhetoric from a Democrat, I am referring to the Congresswoman from this chamber, from this chamber, comparing the United States and Israel to real terrorist organizations. The Speaker and her leadership team issued a weak and embarrassing press release thanking her for her clarification and walking back her remarks. But of course, Democrats are not serious in disciplining anti-Semitism or even anti-American remarks within their ranks. This photo of the speaker smiling next to the Congresswoman from Minnesota was on the cover of March 19th edition of the Rolling Stone. This came after after the Congresswoman from Minnesota had tweeted and then defended that Israel has hypnotized the world and implied that the Jewish people were buying political support by tweeting, it's all about the Benjamins, baby. The cover of the magazine says, Women Shaping the Future, Nancy Pelosi and the New Voices of the House. Is this really the voice of the Democratic Party, Madam Speaker? Can you imagine for one moment the Democratic outrage if this were the Republican leader and the Congresswoman from Georgia? There would be demands for resignation and Republican office phones would be ringing off the hook from left-wing liberal activists. I ask the speaker, are you truly proud of this photo? I can't wait to hear her answer. I just hope she won't be as demeaning as the last time she spoke about that woman. Thank you, and I yield back.